hey girlfriends welcome back to the channel for another vlog if you're new here my name is Jerry Micea but all my friends call me G and welcome back to the channel girl for another vlog y'all it is freezing in here uh I had the balcony door open and it is currently I believe 65 degrees outside and it's super windy the I think somebody's burning something because the fire alarm keep going off so I have to leave the house come back leave the house I literally have on pajama pants because it kept going on and I jumped out of bed I had to literally throw on a hoodie and I have on a scarf under here and it's freezing outside girl in the south I know listen up up north I know 65 is nothing to y'all girl 65 to us we're like where's the coat like I'm ready to pull out a coat okay but today you guys are gonna be I don't know what we're gonna do today y'all know in sunday's vlog oh my god hello mm. having a kid is a lot of work what well, what else i'm gonna do i'm gonna have to get it stephanie stephanie listen don't come bothering me okay me and this kid will be fine no, stephanie we gonna be fine um, I'm here. adios oh okay y'all so y'all know in the last vlog i told y'all that i am going to be i was supposed to babysit child i should have shut my mouth because now my sister have to work and she was like no i really need you to babysit so i'm watching the kid today now the thing is this i have to record and this kid is not a quiet kid he's very active he has a lot of energy and also she's making me nervous i have never watched a kid by myself okay i don't have kids i'm not a mother so i don't really know what to do do but i'm like uh, it can't be that hard right so he'll be fine okay he, she will get him back in one piece. As long as she get him back in one piece, he'll be fine. And she keep calling me to ask me all these questions and telling me what to do. Just let me and him flow. If I don't know what to do about something, we gonna call somebody and ask. She, some, some, she nervous. Well, you take him to work with you, okay? If you don't want to take him to work with you, he's gonna be fine here. Like, what, 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 what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> and in the next clip, y'all gonna be seeing me like, uh-uh, he gotta go. <laughs> But that's what I'm doing today. I am babysitting. I am recording. I have to record because the video has to go up tomorrow. That should be quick. So I'm going to record. Now the thing is this. I don't feel like being in the house. So me and this kid, we're about to like literally go somewhere. Now the thing is this. I have never watched a kid by myself. I think that's why my sister nervous. And she's like, so wait, you're going to the mall. I have errands to run. I need to go to Target. I need to go to the mall. I have things I need to do. And I'm going to take him with me. And she is like, Jernica, you're making my nerves bad. So you guys will come with us. We're going to go out and about i'm gonna be mom for the day um when i picked up my niece from school i told her i said yeah call me mom she said no <laughs> but whatever happens today you guys will be a part of this mess i'm about to finish doing my makeup i need to add some mascara because mm -hmm. and today i have my orange flush because that was the vibe so i will see you guys in a minute all right y'all i'm a lot of breath because child carrying a car seat oh so we have the precious cargo so now the thing is this i didn't know how to make a bottle but i just was informed how to do it it's simple eight ounces of water two scoops of powdered milk right right yeah so i'm about to record he's very quiet right, right now i guess he just woke up that's good for me so i need to hurry up and record while he's in a mellow mood because i'm sure he's gonna get a little rowdy he's looking at me a little sideways child all right so i'll see you guys once we finish okay okay we got this we got this you guys are gonna babysit with me virtually and for those of you who are like gee it's easy i don't have kids i've never even stayed overnight with a kid by myself I'm, this is the first time I've ever watched a kid completely on my own. Anytime I watch a kid, I will always make sure there's another adult who know once a kid start doing stuff I don't know about crying and I can't get him to stop crying or wants to get a little too much for me. I'd be like, okay, let's pass it on to the next adult who actually have kids who know what to do. And I'll just exit the situation. This is all on me. So, I got 
have this because okay let's just think one day i'm going to be somebody's parent i'm going to be responsible for a human being <laughs> and okay i got this so if i can do it with my kid i can do it with this kid right because you're like almost my kid like just almost okay he don't like that okay let's take a picture together so when you're like older you can know i actually did watch you by myself yeah are you ready? Oh. Say cheese. Oh my god. Y'all, between the fire alarm keep going off because they fixing something and it keeps setting the fire alarm off. Between that and the kid, now he's talking, girl. He's riled up. This video, a video that would probably take me a good 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes to record. I can't even get past the intro and I am yeah mm. I don't know what to do hey y'all I'm whispering girl because it's later not me rocking the kids to sleep girl and I took a nap Ciao. Shout out to all the mothers, okay? I had to take off my full outfit, girl. I did not record my video, so I'll record. It's about 5.30. My sister will be here at 6. I'm gonna just talk to y'all when the kid is not here because he's asleep. When I realized I was asleep, girl, I looked up and I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. This right here is why I cannot babysit, okay? I got babysit on days when I have nothing to do. Y'all, I was literally sleeping like I was dead, okay? First of all, I am sleeping on my back so I can preserve my makeup. I think I messed it up a little, but we could fix that. And how do y'all sleep with babies? I'm sleeping, but I feel like every two seconds I'm like this. Putting my finger under his nose, sleeping with my eye open, trying to make sure the kid is alive. Trying to make sure I don't roll over on him. Because one thing about it, when I'm in the bed, I am flipping and flopping all over that bed, okay? Girl, I was like this. Trying to and kept putting my finger under his nose to make sure he was alive. This is too much. My God. So I'm gonna just come back and talk to y'all when he's gone. Hey y'all. So it is currently 7:39 and the boy is gone. He left maybe like an hour ago, and I just finished recording the video, y'all. This video literally took me 28 minutes to record, like super quick, and that's another reason why. A lot of people ask me, well, how do I record so many videos in one day? For me, it's pretty easy because when I sit down to record, I know what I'm recording. I can run through it, especially if I don't have any interruptions. I can run through it. If it was earlier, I would literally go on to like record maybe two more videos because it's, it took 28 minutes. As long as I don't have to try on clothes, I can get through it like that. So I'm done recording. I'm about to edit this video upload it to youtube so it can go up and be up for you guys in the morning i need to clean up my mess and my sunday is pretty much over i really want to clean i need to clean up the whole house child when i was babysitting child i could not y'all the thing is this he was so good he did not cry he wasn't bad at all i just had this feeling of there's another human being here and i have to keep my eye on you at every second I feel like I couldn't walk away even though I had him like in a seat I just felt like I couldn't walk away so my house is a mess even when I had to use the bathroom girl I had to drag him in the seat to the bathroom and he just looking at me like you're crazy <laughs> like girl relax but <sighs> we're gonna try again tomorrow I actually need to yeah I need to clean up because on Mondays I love waking up on Mondays in a clean house and tomorrow what today is Today is Sunday, but when you guys see this, it's Tuesday. So it's day two of the Unbig My Back mission. Unbig My Back. Hopefully, you guys are joining me. Um, I need to get ready for that in the morning. I want to be at the gym. I have somewhere to be for eight. Maybe I should get up at seven. Okay, maybe I can do that. I'll get up at seven and go to the gym to do that. So I'll most likely just see you guys tomorrow because.
Hey girlfriends, so it is Monday, day one of mission on Big My Bag. Y'all, today was so hard. I'm not surprised. Day one is always hard. I'm gonna be honest. Day one through that first week and a half is gonna be tough. So definitely give yourself grace. I was dying, y'all. I did 40 minutes. Excuse me. And the way that I do it, I do 20 minutes. I take a five minute break, then I do another 20 minutes. And like literally by day 30, I could do the 40 minutes straight, but it's easier to break it up. Girl, today I was dying. So give yourself grace. Alter it. I'm gonna say that first week to two weeks, you may have to alter it. Like today, I couldn't do a full 12 on um, incline through the whole 40 minutes. So what I would do is when I felt like, okay, hold on, I really need a break. Instead of stopping and getting off of it, I would just lower it down to like no incline and I'll just walk at like a regular pace. So I was still moving and, you know, putting my all. But it's, of course, giving myself grace. So give yourself grace. By the time you guys see this, it's going to be day two of the challenge so tomorrow day three give yourself grace we'll be back also during this challenge y'all anytime i'm like doing a challenge like this and i'm going to the gym every single day if we've been honest y'all especially when i'm at the gym at my in my building i don't care about being cute so y'all gonna see me in black every day this week if, if i if i take y'all to the gym most likely i will since we're doing a challenge together y'all gonna see me in i have two of these hoodies y'all gonna see me in black every single day and i'm about to go out and get um i find when i wrap my hair with a scarf y'all remember i told y'all this dior scarf i told y'all in my current faves i wear this dior scarf out she is sweaty down look at this i need to wash her i wear this scarf out i'm telling y'all i get my money's worth now see how raggedy she look by the time y'all see me washing and dry she's gonna look brand new but i um I want to go out to maybe Target or Walmart. I want to get like some, you know how they have like regular bandanas? I want to get black bandanas and tie around my head because if we're being honest, the hats, the hats are cute. I feel like hats are for like, how could I say? Maybe like if I'm going for a walk or if I'm going like yoga or something. But when I'm doing like these intense workouts, that's why I like to wear hoodies. I need stuff that's going to catch the sweat from like dripping in my face. And head scarves definitely work. So I'm going to run out and I want to get at least like five no we yeah, have five black bandanas because i know at walmart they're like 97 cents and i had one but i lost it when i was in mexico so day one is done hopefully you guys are going strong and i feel good so it's beautiful outside y'all the weather this morning when i woke up it was 59 it's 65 degrees if we're being honest i just feel like being outside today so i do have some errands to run i'm about to take a shower get cute i don't feel like wearing makeup today so we're gonna get real cute y'all saw me stretch before i worked out and y'all saw me stretch after that is very important especially with um this challenge on that incline if you do not stretch y'all you can hurt yourself so when you get off of that treadmill even during it you're going to feel the back of your legs start, those muscles are going to get so tight it is very important to stretch before and after so do not um skip out on stretching especially the fact that we're going to be doing this 30 days you can definitely hurt yourself we don't want to pull a muscle okay we just want to get back in a routine of doing it um going to the gym and doing this treadmill challenge i promise y'all on day one you're gonna be like girl this ain't for me by day 30 if you really stick with this and you go every day when i did this in january by day 30 y'all i felt so good i didn't even at that point i wasn't even caring about the weight i wasn't even looking at um the scale it just you get your confidence back in the gym and it makes you want to do other things someone asked me how do i not get bored with it i make a playlist i save a lot of my shows like housewives and stuff and i also add in different things like tonight they have a yoga class at my gym i do yoga i do boxing i do um cycle so not just doing the treadmill i do add other things in there so i'm not just bored with my workout but by day 30 i promise you you're going to be so confident and you're going to be almost like addicted to going to the gym you're going to want to go so just stick with it i know it's hard girl but we are in this together because today your girl was struggling okay i know they had a man up in there y'all i know he was like is she dying because i was like <gasps> <gasps> girl i know i sound like a big old 
Resibutia. I sound like Resibutia on that treadmill. I know I did. Baby, I was dying and did not care. I was like, we gonna get these 40 minutes in one way or another. So, bye y'all. I literally left out the house and turned all the way back around just to show you my outfit <laughs> because I know if I don't do it now it ain't gonna happen so I have on this bucket hat that I picked up when I was in New York from H&M if it's still available I am gonna link it down below because I love her um I could wear her anytime I have on the Saint Laurent five four or five sunglasses Rihanna crop top Zara trousers um hmm Alexander Wayne for slippers this jacket because guess what I go to my closet y'all I don't have any casual black jackets and everything is in storage this is why I need to switch my closet over I have my green tea because I'm not about to leave this house and buy green tea I made some and I'm carrying of course the Givenchy Antigona and this is the the fit I wish I had a better jacket I really do a crop jacket because this one is like oversized it's okay but if it was black y'all know I just ordered that jacket from Zara and I literally returned it a few days ago because I said I don't need this black jacket I need it so this is the outfit let's go y'all we're at Target I am so tired I'm ready to go home I am tired of being an adult I'm tired of doing a thing I just want to go home I've had enough I went to the mall to do a return. I didn't take y'all because I just wanted to be in and out. And now I am picking up adult things. That's hard to get you out. So I need some new lotion. I wanted to try something new, but this right here, it always get the jobs done. Because girl, my legs have been dehydrated. No, my nails because I'm not getting them done. But I also see this one. What's the difference? Mm, this one is 11. That one's seven. I'm gonna use this one more probably so I'm in the market for some fall workout stuff I need like something like this this is cute but I don't want to wear black black is always the vibe but I don't want black so this is cute now the problem that I'm having y'all y'all know I brought all, purchased all of those workout clothes I need darker clothes for fall because stuff like this I don't want to wear in the fall I already have all of these what size is this this is uh, it's too dull I wish it was darker it's too dull look how cute these are but they're too bright and vibrant and I don't want to buy any more black I wish they had like browns and olive greens these are cute but they're just too bright for right now I need darker colors and they don't have none my apartment y'all it's pretty folly but I feel like I could warm it up a little. And I'm gonna give up pillows. I love this. This will go perfect. And they also have like a more of a rich brown. I think these will look so pretty on the couch. How much are these? Why, why don't they have a $20? Mm -hmm. Her quality is not giving 20. She's so cute. Y'all, I really, really like this. I just don't like how raggedy it looks. And I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. But this one looks so cute sitting 
in that chair that I have where the uh, Gucci pillow is. Oh, so cute. Uh-uh, we gotta find this because I want it now. Y'all, I love these pumpkins. They definitely match the vibe of my apartment because you know my apartment's like literally these colors. And I've been looking for something for my coffee table. Oh my God, I love this. Look how cute. How much is this? $30. So pretty. Oh my God, y'all. I just found this for brother baby. How cute would he look in this? And they also have like this little coat. He will look so cute. I have to buy this. My sister not gonna let, me, let him wear it. I just text her. I know she gonna say no, but he will look so cute in this. Oh, yeah, I'm online looking for this pumpkin. Every store says it either has one in stock or it's not even available to ship. So what I'm gonna do is take this one home. I'm not gonna pop the tag, see if I like it first. And then I'm gonna have to find it at another Target because I love this. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas brown, me, I and I die, gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by, I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, Call the shorty off a fan star Just the one I'm ready, it's a great shot Way that I've been living, I'm conventional I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know Certain things have started getting pissed off Think we need to have a sun and finish up I could be a man, but maybe down the road Right now, I would love to see my heart turn to gold Rather see my heart turn crystal I'm gonna sit outside on the balcony, edit the video that you guys are watching. Oh, I got a drill, a nail drill, because y'all look at my nails. They look so bad. Now the thing is this, every like other month, I like to give my nails a break from gel polish because I could tell when my nails are like super weak, so I would like go two weeks without getting them done. I'm okay with not getting my nails done, but I have to get this off. I don't like the way they, I don't like the way that they remove like gel polish at the nail shop. I feel like it's just not healthy for my nails, the way they drill the polish off and stuff. I'm going to start taking my polish off, the gel polish off at home. So when I go there, I don't need them to do that because I honestly don't like the way, I don't like the way they remove it. Y'all, I think I'm getting sick, I can feel it. Anytime I'm around a kid, I get sick and I can feel my throat getting like that raspy, itchy feeling. And also the weather is changing. I just wanna chill and twist the lie Catch stunts on my 745 You drive me crazy, shorty I need to see you and feel you next to me I provide everything you need And I like your smile I don't wanna see you cry Got some questions that I Hey y'all, so it is 7.32 And I'm about to call it a night Y'all did see me kinda like start my nails Tomorrow I'm gonna do the um foil and wrap it but i just also ordered that polish off of amazon you know how you can polish it on put this gel removing polish on your nails and it's gonna like take it off i think i'm gonna order that tomorrow because they say it'll deliver the same day if they don't deliver it i'll go ahead and do the acetone and the foil paper but y'all i'm about to i'm about to call it a day i am done i have nothing else in me Today really drained me and I think it's because, y'all, I slept horrible last night. My body hurt and I'm just, part of me feel like I'm getting sick. I think I've also been around too many people and my body ain't used to that. She used to being inside. So I'm drinking my tea. Um, the living room is so cozy, y'all, but I know if I go up in there and start watching TV, I'm going to fall asleep on the couch. I don't want to do that. So I'm about to clean up my room. It's not that bad. I did not make up my bed today, y'all. And we're about to just put probably the Real Housewives of New York on. 
because y'all know that's my girls the old ones that's my girls and i always just have them playing in the background it's like little noise while i edit this video that you guys are watching so whatever i need to say we gonna go ahead and talk about it tomorrow when i see y'all um redoing why well, see i didn't really redo the living room just kind of like switching up a few things it definitely made, made me want to warm up my bedroom because i just left target and they have so many different velvet comforter sets and stuff it just made me want to kind of like switch up the vibe like it has to be white in here because i love a white bedroom but yeah because as you guys know this side of my room is kind of like the closet but this little area on this side is like a bedroom so i think maybe in the next vlog we're gonna see how we can warm this up because it's just black and white and i also waste green tea y'all so we also need to clean that up so i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow because i'm done hopefully you guys enjoyed this video like share comment subscribe hopefully you guys are enjoying weektober i keep on calling it vlogmas weektober in the weektober vlogs it's so chill y'all it's literally chill a lot of the things that you guys have seen during weektober is things that probably wouldn't make it to a regular vlog it's a little more intimate i'm keeping in a lot of clips whereas in a regular vlog i may have two hours of footage and i'm like condensing it down to like 45 minutes to an hour so now with these vlogs you guys are kind of like getting everything so hopefully you're, you're enjoying it so like share comment subscribe and i'll see you girls tomorrow tomorrow we're actually going live so i'll see you guys tomorrow i'm going live at 6 p.m and yeah let's do it girl good night